this is a podcast all about bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I like to take a minute, just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunter. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. You talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. What's going on, Bears fans? Before I get to the episode started, I have to tell you guys about my bookie. This year, I'm betting the football season with my bookie. When betting with my bookie, you'll receive a 100% match on your very first deposit up to $1,000. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's- betting with my bookie this season was the obvious choice for me because every time this happens, touchdown Bears! Or this happens, touchdown run! I win. The best part about this whole thing is that you can support the show by using the promo code KOTM. So Bears fans, what are you waiting for? Go to mybookie.ag, use my promo code KOTM, and receive a 100% match on your first deposit up to $1,000 and make it a winning season with MyBookie today. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Before I get this episode started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. So it is finally happening, Bears fans. Matt Nagy this morning officially named Justin Fields his starting quarterback for week three against the Cleveland Browns. Of course, the only reason why Justin Fields is probably starting in week three is because Andy Dalton did get hurt in week two against the Cincinnati Bengals with the knee injury. I'm anticipating that Andy Dalton will be out for a couple of weeks. Matt Nagy made it very clear to the to the media this morning that when Andy Dalton is healthy, he is still his starter. I'm not sure if his tune will change if Justin Fields comes in and lights it up these next couple of weeks. I'm not sure. But at the moment, Matt Nagy made it very clear that when Andy Dalton is fully healthy and ready to go, that Andy Dalton is still his starter. But for now, it is Justin Fields' time. If you like it or not, Justin Fields is going to be the starting quarterback this week for the Chicago Bears as they take on the Cleveland Browns. Justin Fields is excited. He's ready to go. I have the utmost confidence in Justin Fields to lead this football team. I'm excited for him to actually get a full week of practice with the starters, gain more chemistry with the starting receivers, starting tight ends, starting groups as a whole. Super excited for this opportunity for him. And I'm ready for this next step um, in Justin Fields' development. I know a lot of people are saying that, well, he needs to sit back and learn from Andy Dalton. But at this point, what is he going to learn from sitting on the bench, right? I know there's a lot of people saying that rookie quarterbacks need to just sit on the bench. And I, I totally get that. But Justin Fields is meant to be in NFL He says that every single interview that he's in, that he's meant to be here, he's ready to go. He has the confidence, and you can feel that from Justin Fields. So the only way that Justin Fields is going to get better is by him starting. I'm not really too concerned about Justin Fields going against a pretty good Cleveland Browns defense. What I'm concerned about is Matt Nagy. Can Matt Nagy put Justin Fields in good situations. I know Matt Nagy's play calling can be kind of irritating to some Bears fans. Actually, a lot of Bears fans. We get irritated about how Matt Nagy game plans. We get irritated about how Matt Nagy calls plays. Can Matt Nagy put Justin Fields in good situations against a really good Cleveland Browns defense? If Matt Nagy can call the right plays, and I I feel that We can actually open up the playbook with Justin Fields, and that's not taking anything away from Andy Dalton. I feel like Andy Dalton, before he got hurt against the Cincinnati Bengals, was playing really good football. But the fact of the matter is, is that we weren't really going deep. We weren't taking shots with Andy Dalton. I'm not sure if it was because we weren't calling the plays or if Andy Dalton just doesn't have it anymore. With Justin Fields, you have his mobility. He can get out of the pocket. He can take those shots. So I anticipate Matt Nagy, this is his time to open up the playbook. So to me, this is a make or break situation for Matt Nagy. Justin Fields may expose Matt Nagy to the point where 
maybe upper management for the Chicago Bears may finally realize that, hey, Matt Nagy just can't get it done. So there's a lot of pressure on Matt Nagy. I don't think there's a lot of pressure on Justin Fields. I think he has the confidence. He's shown that to us. He is ready to play quarterback in the NFL. The pressure is on Matt Nagy. And I'm excited to see what happens. I, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm anticipating hopefully that the offensive playbook can be opened up a little bit more due to the qualities that Justin Fields has um, and what he can offer to this offense. And this is going to be exciting. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not sure how you guys feel about it, but I know personally that I am ready to watch Justin Fields play quarterback for the Chicago Bears. So Bears fans, let me know down below in the comment section, are you excited to see Justin Fields this week against the Cleveland Browns? And how do you think he's going to do? Let me know down below in the comment section. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Bear down, guys. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't.